Hi, good evening everybody. Well, the boys won today. We'll talk about it. We'll look at the numbers. As uh, Anyway, I'll fill you guys in in a few minutes here. Let's first uh, look at the numbers and discuss it. Here we go. Okay, guys, you see there the shots on goal in the game, 32-27 for Washington. The face-offs of wide edge again. Kind of makes me a little nervous, guys. We're looking at some of the same numbers as last year, you know. I know it's not our team, but it's still lingering. 64.7 for them, 35.3 for the Sabres. So 65-35 for Washington. Uh, I'm going to go with that numbers this year. I'm not going to go with the decimal numbers this year, I think. Anyway, so 0 for 3 in the power play for them. The Sabres 0 for 5. They had 18 hits. We had 7, like I said, last year's numbers. Uh, 11 blocks, Washington, 17 for the Sabres. Now, shots on goal. It looks a little different this year, guys, because it is different. It's still NHL.com. I'm clipping, but it, it's different. So first period, 10-5 Sabres. Uh, second period, 16-11 Washington. And third period, 8-5 Washington. The overtime, 3-1 Washington. And there you see the total, 32-27. Scoring. Obey Kubel opens it up for the Caps at 14.52 of the first. We go into the second. Hofer scores for them to make it 2-0. And Paterka finally gets us on the board at 15.58 of the second. We head into the third. Krebs on a tip-in, as you see there, at 119. Ties it 2-2. Benson gives us our first lead of the game at 8.59 of the third. And then Sonny Milano ties it up for them 3-3. And, of course, it went into the shootout and uh, the, uh, the overtime and the shootout. So the Sabres prevail in, uh, in the shootout. Um, now, like, uh, I'll, I'll talk briefly about this, guys. I didn't get to see this game. So, you know, I'm not going to play it like I did. I did not get to see this game. It was blacked out. So I tell you what, it doesn't have its advantages all the time living out here in Canada, guys. It just doesn't. I was so ticked off. I was all, I had my coffee ready and everything. I was all hyped, you know. And even Ross came over. We we're going to watch some of the game together. And I'm like, it's blacked out. They won't let me watch it. You know, what's going on, buffalosabers.com? Well, you got something against Rome Hockey or something? God. Anyway, so, yeah, the boys won, though. So, uh, I looked at the three stars. They didn't mark it here. I might throw that on this year because they're, they're making it a little different. So maybe my format will be a little different. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to this new format that NHL.com is doing now. Um, I'm not crazy about NHL.com, but at the same time, it's when it comes to source like this, it's good. So uh, they, they had Zach Benson as the second star of the game. So I ask you guys, how did he play in the game? You know, I'm curious because Benson was the one star that was a Sabre and they had two capital stars, first and third, and they had uh, Zach Benson as the second star. So, you know, how did he look? You know, I'm curious because this sucks that I didn't get to see any of this, guys. Really sucks. So, the um, I'll go. I'll just briefly go by the schedule, guys, and we'll wrap it up. It's not going to be a long video. Just wanted to touch base with you and put this out there for some folks that might not even know we played a preseason game today. There is folks out there that just don't care about preseason. Just want to check what the score was. All right, let's go to teams. Yeah, the uh, the next game I know is the Bruins. I believe it's the day after tomorrow, right? 26th. 26th, that's a big day for me. Personal day. Um, okay, so the Sabres play the Bruins. What time? Uh, let me just open it up, guys. Oh, this is good. I like, they've changed some of the things this year. I like this. It's okay. Uh, okay, so, so it's a 7 p.m. game, guys. Uh, 7 p.m. game. Uh, I think, is this the only matinee game? Let me just check. No, we got one more matinee game on the 30th. My bad. I thought this was the only one. No, we have one more. Yeah, till the regular season. Okay. So guys, we have six more games. We have the Bruins, the Leafs, the Penguins, the Jackets, the Jackets, the Penguins, the next six games. And on the 26th, we got the Bruins at 7 p.m. I know most of you guys will be hyped for that one. And we'll see what the boys can do because uh, it's in Buffalo, right? So it should be a fun one, guys. It should be a fun one.
Let me just make sure I'm giving you the right advice before I close it up. Is it the, I assumed it was in Buffalo. Tell you guys, I'm not too with it. I'm half awake. And I got a few more. Yeah, it's at Buffalo, then at Toronto, at Pittsburgh, at Buffalo, Columbus, then at Columbus. And then um, the final one is uh, Pittsburgh at Buffalo. And that closes up the preseason on October the 6th. So we shall see what the boys do, guys. Okay, I'm going to kill it there, guys. I'm going to stop the video there. I'll see you guys maybe some point tomorrow. And... Um, yeah, leave me uh, comments. What did you see in the game? I need to know because I'm probably only, if I'm lucky, I'll get to see some highlights tomorrow. Um, this really sucks. I didn't get to see this game, so I was pretty ticked. I really was. Uh, just watched a movie and start, tried to stay calm. <laughs> all right, so, all right, guys, done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You have a good night. And again, let me know how it went. See you then.